Hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Attack of the Burrow. And on the front of the box here, see LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, the border that we've seen since 2018, and Wizarding World logo, and then all the main things included, and picture of everything going on. And age recommendation is lining up, that number is 75980. Or zero, and then 1,447 pieces, and back shot view of it. And flip to the back, see the larger view of the back side of it, and some big shots of it, a couple of features, and there's an, yeah. Down to the manual. Same pictures on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then out of all the set. Uh, or some of the sets being released as of now. Or now available, of course. And last steps. First, for the main figure of it, Harry Potter himself. Well, same torso print as in, in uh, Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter set, of course. Well, torso print kind of similar to that of Zack from uh, Jurassic World for some reason, but whatever. But besides that, looks good. Face print, same as it's been for a long time. And next to which, Ron Weasley. Which, torso print that was done good, but not an only leg print, which most of the figures in this set, which don't have that. Not sure why, but whatever. And the face print of which, done kind of good. And then, the back torso print. Also, all right, and or ticked off double slide face, of course. And next to which is the quite updated Molly Weasley, which, of course, good use of the hair piece from the Star Wars solo lot line. But any uh, face print to which good, and torso print also quite good. But although the bottom skirt piece, which kind of lacking, because not at all he prints to it, although it would have been nice if they did. And also, kind of chipper, double side faces, of course. And next to which, Arthur Weasley. Oh, which also a good update to that there is. So, uh, torso print, all which is done really nicely. And, and face print, quite good. And, and the back torso print, also good. Yeah. And kind of alright, double side face, of course. And that next was Ginny Weasley. Of which also lack of leg printing, but Good front torso print and face print, which I think was kind of common for other sets. And the good use of this hair piece in this color, of course. And back torso print and double side face, quite good as well. And next to it is Bellatrix Lestrange. It was a good update from the previous version. And also, good use of this hair piece, of course. And look for the back torso print, also done quite good. Uh, and also, quite good, quite suiting double side face, of course. And next to it is 
defend your great back. Yeah. And for his front 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 face prints, which uh, kind of similar to his previous versions, but uh, which look great. Of course, and also same use of that hairpiece as older versions, like Prince of Witch. So probably the only figure in this set that has like Prince of course. And there's his length the back torso of Prince of course. And there's his kind of quite more scary double sided face, obviously. And last but not least, first time of having Nifedora Tonics. Although I still wish there would be the uh, kind of pink hair version, but maybe they'll do that in the future in like a CMF series or whatever. As Lego, if you're watching this, please make sure to have the other versions of Nifedora Talks. It would be great. But besides that, her front torso print looks good, and also the face print of which also done good. Good use of this hair piece. It's in, of course, one like the others, and also, the, also some good back torso print and the double side face, well suiting to this scene, of course. And now, on, oh wait, oh wait, one more thing. I'll see you get this. Small little build of just random flame pieces. I think it's just a few, just a one by ten or so plate with a few flame pieces on it held on by cones and of course little one second split in half so a character can jump right through it of course. Being like the firewall sequence. Also, not sure this is a new color for the flame pieces, where it's a uh, trans orange and then trans black. I, was, I don't hope it's new, but whatever. And now to the burrow itself, and uh, which massive improvement over the 2010 version. You know, which, but also a good thing is it's kind of modular in two bits, two halves. Also different than the 2010 version and like the recent Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. And looks and so anyways. Also front part of which which does have the little pig pen where it makes wing the door right open, of course, and get to the pig, of course. Also good use of the large uh, plate piece. Used for grass in this olive green color, and quite a lot of stickers in this set, which is what you explained for leaves, windows, and all. And also, good build right here, and of course, ton of slopes put to use, like kind of like in earlier Legos town sets, of course. And so I make finishing up this build, of course. And also from the back other side, which doesn't have much going on, but a little gear which you'll see in a moment. But also interesting thing is can like swing right open and instead of using like uh, clips or pins and all, it's just a stunt that does that. Kind of interesting how that is. But then look at this part of the interior and see good use of this of these of the couch build which I kind of think we saw in some other sets and those a couple of candles there that they've been had since 2018 and also some more of those little flower pieces like we've seen on the recent uh, Privet Drive set of course and also a teal jumper plate so there's a bit of teal in this one, which is great for mock making, and also with a little letter there, and also get a couple of like cylinders that are supposed to be firewood logs, and also that gear that I showed earlier is where you can use to turn the uh, the gears for this up for the uh, not sure what it is. Uh, 
moving flumes. Trans orange and then trans green. So it's uh, most of the films. And on the other side is like a little bookshelf, of course. And if you look on the other side of which is a little uh, like a cuckoo clock or something. And good build is that. Also, big use of stickers. Whoops. There's a little chair there, and also has another view of that staircase, or I mean bookcase, or above a drawer or something. And also you get a little dining area with a lot of egg and waffle pieces, and a few cups and teacups, and, and also different colors of chairs, and of course, and also a little sink and a teapot, of course, all the wood. What would have been neat is probably get like a pan piece and also well pan and brush piece above it on clear pieces because it you know in chamber secrets it like cleans itself of course <laughs> but anyways get this little uh, sticker tile is that shows you know, like got a pot there of course. And then this room of which, which being Ginny's, you get a little mirror uh, tile piece, and of course, friend's brush, of course. And also, bed, which the main part of which is just a sticker. Uh, and of course, a Quidditch broom above. That's about it with that. Down to the upper half of which. Same kind of effect for that, and you have railing to it, and also windows kind of the same, similar as the lower level. And if you look at the other interior, is you can see how the uh, be like king size bed, and, all. and also a little chair that has some a bit has wand pieces on it, holding this uh, little sign flag piece that. As the large uh, W for Wheatley, of course. And those are that part. And then up above is uh, someone else's room. Oh, it's the same kind of deal. With one of those stickered pat files, of course. And also, of course, another one of which in the far back, obviously. And, and little staircases that lead to this balcony which makes it much better than the 2010 version, of course. And another broom, probably storing for Quidditch, and also a little attic area, which, as you see, has uh, the new type Hedwig and uh, some other owl. And of course, this newer Hedwig, of which done great with the open wings and all. As for this area, good use of the curved piece is giving a good effect for the windows, obviously. And of course, toppling it all off with the chimney with the longer brick bricks, of course, and also a couple of silvers. And how you get this together is, as you see, another one of those large plates. Which attach onto a few studs to it, like so. And as for the bear skin, is with the version from 2010-11. Well, yeah, I think it's 2010. Which, as you can see, this is which major improvement. Which does have the actual tilting feature thing, which this older one does not have. And of course, it has multiple colors for the jacket slopes as roofing, and this one didn't have that. And also, the blue, which is a, a separate build, and the fire ring, also a separate build. But although it does have the bushes suiting to the surrounding areas, 
And this works from the back side, which kind of similar to the interior. But at least you can, one, you yeah, can swivel open and you can access it more. And just only two rooms to it. And this one, like four or five different ones, including the balcony, of course. But this older version didn't have that. But at least with this version, they at least they did kind of try. I'm not sure why there's a lot of dark brown on this older version, but this newer version has plain more color schemes going for it. to the final verdict. Overall, this I think oh, was a great set. Of course, key part in some of the films, of course. And of course, this one, major improvement over the 2010 version, like the actual tilting feature, and also, although kind of a lot of stickers, but a few printed uh, pieces to it. But also, plenty of good pieces are good colors of slopes, good for mock game making, of course, but also, of course, first time of having Nifedora Tonic, so which gives me some bit of hope that, who of which one of my favorite characters, so this should mean that there's going to be other uh, versions of her in the future, of course. And of course, the Molly Weasley and others, of which good improvements for them, of course, but also do you get some extra playability for it, like the flu being actually in it, of course. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then I say definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to add it to your uh, Harry Potter Forbidden Forest display, then also go ahead and pick this up. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.